Hello my friends, I've got a very interesting gun that you usually do not see out here. This is the Big Horn Armory AR-500. The cool thing about this is it is an AR style rifle that shoots the Smith & Wesson 500. Well, almost. It's a 500 auto max. It's essentially the same bullet that you shoot from a, a Smith & Wesson 500 in an AR platform. So the first thing I like about this gun is that it's a very heavy duty gun. Very, it feels like a very high quality gun. Second thing I like about this gun, it's got the telescoping stock. So I can, when I carry it around, I can carry it shorter. When I shoot it, very easily make it longer. And I shoot it, boom, boom, boom. Number three thing I like about this. I like this, this is a 500 Magnum. That is a big, heavy round. That is a very powerful round. You see, you see shooter with the 500 Smith & Wesson pistol. Well, this has a longer barrel, so it can get the higher velocity, therefore more, it can go further, and it has more power. It has more uh, power and velocity, so it can cause more damage. I like it that about this gun, so this is a very powerful gun. I guarantee you, if you get shot with this bullet, with this gun, if you're wearing a bulletproof vest, it better be a plate, because if it's not a plate, you're dead. It'll turn your insides into jelly, even though if it doesn't pass it through the the body armor, the soft body armor, your insides are going to be jelly. You're going to be dead. This is a very heavy, very, very powerful round. Number four thing I like about this gun. Since it is a rifle with a 16 inch barrel at least, I don't know how long this barrel is, but since it's a rifle, it's at least 16 inches. I think the barrel is 18 inches long, but since it has a, a long barrel on it, it, has, it can be more accurate. So you can shoot farther distances with this gun than with the 500 Smith & Wesson pistol. So same caliber, but longer distances. So I like that this is more accurate for longer distances. Number five is that I like that this gun is very unique. Uh, you, uh, when I go to the gun range, there's nobody at the gun range or nobody among my friends has a gun like this. Uh, uh, an AR gun chambered in 500 Smith & Wesson. So it's super cool. It's a, uh, you know, it is super cool to tell the people, yeah, this is a 500 Smith & Wesson AR because nobody ever thinks that there's po that's even possible. So that is the five things that I like about this gun. So the first thing I do not like about this gun is the standard magazine that it comes with only holds five rounds. That is pathetic for a, a battle rifle. Only has five rounds? That's not very good. This is semi-automatic. Nowadays, almost every semi-automatic holds at least 10 rounds. For an extra 100 bucks, you can get a 9 round magazine. Very expensive. The extra magazine you can get with this, it holds 9 rounds. That's not high capacity. Number two, the 9 round magazine. I do not have much luck with this because at first it works and then I think it widens up or something and then I get misfeeds and it's always jamming. So these are worthless. I mean, they might work in the very beginning, but they always seem to stop working for me. And I think it's because the metal kind of expands a little bit so it's out of spec and then and then it misfeeds it tries to double feed and all kinds of crap and i just don't like it number three thing this is a very heavy gun yeah for an ar rifle this is pretty heavy i do not like that about this gun number four it's not really the gun so much as it is the cartridge so yes it is a very big very powerful round it's like lobbing a brick it uh it f drops very fast so it's not very good for far distances it's, it may be only good for 50 yards it's not very uh, good for super long distances it is better than the uh the pistol for long distances but not as good as like a, a 308 ar-10 is much more accurate than this for further distances because that flies straight and this drops like a brick number five thing i do not like about this gun i do not like this cocking mechanism it's a standard ar cocking mechanism i know I get that, but I don't like it. I like the side cocking handles like the AK-47 stuff. This doesn't make any sense to me. I think this is stupid because when you're in a shooting position, it's not very natural to cock it like that. I don't like it. It's a good concept, a 50 caliber in an AR platform, but I don't think, uh, I think they need to fix the magazines and make so the magazines can hold more like 20 rounds and so that uh, the magazines don't get out of spec. Let's have some fun and let's go shoot this gun. Let's go my friends. Now we're going to target practice at the R500. I don't have a sight on if you noticed. I was going to put one on but I forgot. Oh well, but uh, 
I will still target practice anyway. I'll be a little bit closer than I normally would be. I'm gonna be hitting some steel targets with this that are sitting on the uh, on the table over there behind me. So let's see how far they fly with this, how hard this slaps them. Okay, this will be super awesome. Let me tell you something. The Smith & Wesson 500 pistol is super powerful. But this one is super more powerful. This is, I can tell, this knocked those plates so much harder than the pistol. I think it's because it's got the longer barrel so the bullets are able to uh, get a lot more velocity so they can go faster. So anyway, this is amazing. I, ah! I hate that I love this gun. This is, this is the kind of gun that I know I should not like, but I do. It is super powerful. I need to see how well the 308 does against these, but I pray, I don't know. I think this might hit harder than the 308 at a close distance. At a longer distance, the 308 is more aerodynamic, and so it's going to go further. But at a short distance, this is super powerful. I love this, but I hate it, but I love it. They just need to have more magazine capacity and the magazines, they just need to fix the magazines so they don't go bad. Uh, maybe so they double stack them or so, the bullets or something, I don't know. Okay, we shoot the turkey and we'll see what happens. I don't think that that turkey is going to work for dinner. It is just all blown up. Okay, my friends, now we're going to shoot at the rock right over there. That's a big solid rock that's really strong and hard. And we're going to see if this AR-500 will bust it into a bunch of pieces. I bet it will. That's just incredible. I also have to say, I can't believe how good of a shot they am with a gun that does not have any sights. I think that was pretty good. But it just tore that uh, solid, very hard rock up into a million pieces. I loved it. This is the gun for the person that wants a, a super cool gun that's not very practical. It is super cool. So you gotta have $2,000 at least and want to spend it on something that is not the battle rifle. Yes, this will kill people, but instead of a magazine that'll hold 30 or 40 rounds, this magazine only holds five. And that's the biggest problem I have with this gun. Anyway, it's a sweet rifle though. If you got extra money and you want a sweet rifle, this is your rifle.